He was 48 years old. Eyes wide open, big smile on his face. In his favorite chair on the front porch. And then uh, 4.15, my mom woke me up and said, I think that he died. tell people that story. People say, oh, I'm so sorry for your loss. And I tell them, don't be. While I wish he could be sitting right here, I can tell you concretely, I wouldn't be doing this. My life's dream was to be a union carpenter in New York City. But there was this moment where I said, I can help little boys and girls and husbands and wives and grandmas and grandparents from going through what I went through. Yeah, that sounds good. I can do that till I die. I am the director of the Cancer Metabolism Program here at Pennington Biomedical. And the goal is to try to understand the biology of what is happening when somebody exercises or eats better or loses weight. What is happening that can actually prevent a cancer from growing or prevent a cancer from killing that person? Working with participants, that's the exciting part for me. That's taking the science and actually putting it into action to be able to do research that no one else can do in the world, we can do here. I go out in the community and have conversations with the physicians as well as the patients and the families. People need to know what the scientists are finding, especially when the science is being discovered in your own backyard. What I do here, I view as my mission. This is my life's work. I have committed the rest of my life to be able to help the residents of Louisiana be able to understand how the choices that they make impact whether they die from cancer or not. You know, a lot of people analogize cancer to a battle. My dad was literally in battle, and I am helping people fight their battle with cancer. The day I was born, he said, I just want Justin to have a better life than I had. And he was an amazing father. And he has been dead for uh, 20 years now. And he continues to inspire me in everything that I do and every day that I do it. And so I think back and I say, yeah, you did good, Dad.